What's up guys? Uh, today I want to touch on the topic of setting goals and sticking to your goals. Uh, this particular day was significant for me uh, on squats and deadlifts but uh, more so on squats because uh, I haven't done on both these lifts I haven't done this amount of volume for this or this amount of weight for this amount of volume and yeah it's just a big mental hump that it, I got over and I could have been there sooner and the reason I wasn't there sooner was because um, I let my ego get in the way um, I have done this amount of weight not for this amount of volume but I've done this amount of weight in the past uh, but it wasn't very clean and you know wasn't how it could have been um, the form wasn't there and instead of me taking a step back you know as I've said a million times taking one step back to take two steps forward uh, I would tell myself I'm gonna do that but it wouldn't happen um, you know I would tell myself the whole week all right you know it was pretty sloppy on the way up this that or the other and then I'd get to the gym and I'd just, you know, see some friends or that pre-workout hit too hard or whatever. My adrenaline's going and I'm like, nah, I just, I just had an off day. <laughs> uh, so, what I'm trying to tell you guys is set small goals. And uh, this is what I tell clients as well is you have to set small goals in order to achieve uh, something you know much bigger than what you planned or what you even think you could achieve uh, you know my goal initially when I was you know started squatting and whatnot god it'll just be as easy as moving up two and a half pounds every week on my squat and uh, I stopped doing that I would you know I was progressing with that and I just uh, tried to fix something that was not broken. I was progressing with that and I just got a little ahead of myself and started going up 5 pounds, 10 pounds and sure enough I started hitting some sticking points and my form was breaking down. Uh, now I'm sticking to it and if I need to take a deload I will. Um, you have to stick to what you said you were going to do. If that's going up 2.5 pounds every week you know, until you hit a sticking point, that's great. Uh, like I said, I always tell clients, if we can move up, whatever the weight is, if we can move up, or whatever the exercise is, if we can move up two and a half pounds every week for the whole year, we've gone up, uh, what is that, 100 and, 130 pounds for the, for the year. Now, is that gonna happen? More than likely not. We're gonna get sick, we're gonna hit sticking points, uh, you know, mental uh, mental barriers are gonna happen, but you have to stick to what you said you were gonna do. And ha had I done that, I would probably be much farther than what I am right now. Uh, but hey, you live and you learn. So uh, I believe I've learned my lesson now, and you know, now that I'm sticking to what my plan was everything's been going well uh, moving forward on squats deads uh, bench everything's going in the right direction uh, so don't forget to check your ego at the door and I know it's it's very easy to say <laughs> but it's one thing to say it and it's another thing to do it uh, just stick to what you said you're gonna do is the message of this video I don't know where I'm going over here I think I want to go get some chalk so we got um, 425 on the bar
yeah guys these are uh you know I'm, can't say i'm not happy with these i'm very uh happy and you know not afraid to say i'm proud of these accomplishments same with same with uh you know squats the number in my head the barrier was 315 and with deadlifts it was uh 405 and i just remember thinking like i just want to get three sets of three on each of them you know or three sets of five and i had done it but man was it a struggle <laughs> it was not not as easy as uh as these are right now but it was painful and probably painful to watch <laughs> uh, form was all over the place but that's all I got for you guys today um, don't forget to like comment and subscribe and stick to what you said you're gonna do I'll talk to you guys later